Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today a quick video to share with you how to use the Slice Transition Pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so once you bought the pack, you will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. You will get this folder. In a folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, and the pack. So just double click on the pack to install it. Then here, select install. Once in DaVinci Resolve, you can find your transition by going over to effect, video transition, video to studio, and then here you will have the slice transition. This pack contains 20 different transitions, and I'm just gonna go through a few of them to show you how to use them. So let's start by bringing two clips in our timeline, and now I'm gonna bring our first transition, the vertical rectangle slice, and drag it in between all two clips. But as you can see right here, nothing is happening. It's because we need to trim the edges of both clips to give enough space for the transition to happen. So here we're just gonna trim the excess on this one, and the excess on this one, and then bring them together again. And now we are able to just apply the transition. I'm gonna zoom it a little bit on all clips so we can see what we're doing. So here, I'm just gonna go over to the timeline view option and increase the video to the maximum so we can actually see the transition better. We can now adjust the timing of that transition by stretching the transition or reducing it, or you can adjust it right here in the inspector by choosing the duration. So here, for example, one second or the amount of frame. Right now, if we play the transition, as you can see, it's dropping a few frames. To get full playback and render the transition, you can always go over to playback and then here switch the render cache from none to smart. It will just bring forward that bar that is switching from red to blue. And when it's fully blue, that means that the transition has been processed and you will then get real time playback here at 30 FPS. Now, if we take a closer look at the transition, as you can see, there is multiple slice that are just going downward. So right now you can choose the amount of slice. By default, it's nine, but we could reduce this to two slices. So right now, for example, we have only two slices. We can also do five slices or the default nine slices. You can also choose the timing of the animation. So here, basically, you have the curve in and the curve out, and you can choose between different kind of curve, which will give you different kind of timing for the in and out. But in most cases, I will recommend to just leave it as default. You can also adjust the direction. Right now, by default, it's going down, but we could choose to have it going up instead. So here it is going down, and here it is going up. On some of the transition, like for example, here on clock slice, you have by default some motion blur. You can choose to activate it or deactivate it. Just keep in mind that motion blur is pretty taxing on your machine. So you will need probably to give it a bit more time to render or having a beefier machine. But here is the clock slice, for example. Most of them follow the same principle. For example, here, if we bring over the spin slice, as you can see, you can choose between a certain amount of circles and you can also adjust the circle width of that transition. For other ones, like the triangle slice, instead of choosing the amount of triangle, you can actually adjust here the corner of the triangle to create a new unique transition. So we could just here bring each corner in a specific place, adjust the border width, and it will give you a different look. We also have an icon loader, so here you can just drag the icon slice. By default, this is a star, but you can load any icon you would like in it. So here you can just go to browse, Select any PNG icon, so right now I have a camera, for example, and then now the icon is a camera, but it also could be a pattern that is a PNG file format. So that could, for example, become a matte transition if you export a PNG. And that's pretty much it by now. I think you got the point. You know what you can expect from it. Uh, you can choose basically the amount of slice, the direction, and a few other parameters depending on the specific transition. On the product page, you can find a preview video that shows you each transition available in this pack so you know exactly what is in it. And you can also download the free sample to test it out. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.